Hi, welcome to Board Gems. In this video, I'll be comparing the two editions of Big City. Here are the two editions. On the left is the original German edition from Gold Sieber. There is also an English edition from Rio Grande Games. This originally came out in 1999. And on the right, the 2017 edition from Mercury Games. The Jumbo Edition. And it is jumbo. The box is a little more than one and a half times the size of the original Gold Sieber box. In terms of a footprint, it's a little bit wider than your standard square Ticket to Ride box, but still fits comfortably inside a Kallax. It's hard to compare the backs of the boxes because the edition on the left is German. But one thing you will note is that the original edition was two to five players, and in the new edition is only two to four. Not a huge problem. The game seemed to be better with fewer players anyway. You can get an expansion for the Jumbo Edition to bring it up to five players. The original scoreboard was a spiral, which had larger spaces early in the track when spaces are more likely to be shared among multiple pieces. It can be hard with a spiral track to tell at a glance who's in the lead. The 2017 edition has a square track, which always goes left to right and bottom to top. The original had plastic score markers, and the new edition uses cardboard scoring markers. Boo! Anything that you have to move around should be wood or plastic, should not be a token. You also see the 100 markers that players will claim if their score goes above 100 and they loop around the track. The new edition on the right has some extra things, including a start player marker, it wasn't necessary in the original because play was clockwise and continuous, but now in the new edition, they define rounds. And so every time the start player comes back around, you're going to do a thing. And there's also in what I think is an unnecessary pair of markers to show when City Hall has not or has been built already. Here are the playing cards. They're pretty much the same size, but you can compare the look of them. The original had names of neighborhoods, so there was like a Chinatown and a Little Italy and etc. And they removed the names in the new edition. And you can see from numbered 1 to 8, they have a bit of a, a rainbow color scheme going on. Here are the city blocks. You can see the city blocks are much, much larger in the new edition. And that is, of course, because the pieces themselves are larger. You better have a big table for the new edition. The neighborhoods take up a lot of space. There are also huge player aids, and the pieces themselves are, of course, bigger. Let's have a look at some of these pieces. These are not officially special buildings. That has a certain connotation in the game, but they're definitely not your usual buildings. Factories and parks, these are things that you can build without owning the necessary blocks. You just have to have a card that shows that particular factory or park, and then you just choose wherever you want to put it ruining other players' plans. And you can see the size difference. There's also the streetcar in the foreground. Both have a kind of a silvery color. But the other ones, you'll notice the original has a much deeper shade than the newer one. These are the special buildings. I'm not sure why they come in two different colors in the original edition. They're all the same in the new. The shopping mall, which is the largest of these pieces, was a bit nondescript in the old one. And I guess you could say the same for City Hall, which is the sort of the tallest one. A little bit plain. They definitely put a lot of effort into, uh, into the designs for the new edition. And you'll notice that in the new edition, the special buildings are yellow, whereas in the old, most of them were blue. If we look at the commercial buildings, which are in the background there, that's reversed. The original edition had yellow commercial buildings, and you'll see the new edition is gray. You can see the residential properties are much, much larger, and it kind of takes them out of scale compared to the original edition, which had much smaller houses uh, when you compare it to the larger commercial buildings. Might be hard to get a sense of scale, so I've added Carcassonne tiles so you can get a sense of how large these are. Now the original's buildings were a very hard plastic, and the original came with a three-layered insert, which was sometimes a little bit difficult to snap the pieces out. If you get a used copy from a hobbyist, don't be surprised if the insert was tossed. <laughs> this would be, this might be frustrating for somebody to get the pieces in and out regularly. The new edition instead has a box inside 
the larger box, which holds all the minis. And there is space in the smaller box for a styrofoam frame to house each of the individual pieces. I don't have that here because I have the expansion mixed in. You kind of want everything kind of packed in tightly so they don't shake around too much. And finally, I'm not going to bother showing the rules since one is in German and one is in English, but I will actually show the new edition's player aid. It does show some of the rule differences, including the new redevelopment phase, which I have opinions on. Stay tuned for a future Is It A Gem video. And you'll also notice that the player aid includes buildings from the expansion. This is the player aid from the base game. It does save having to replace the player aid or have two player aids, one with the base game pieces and one with the expansion pieces. And it also works, I suppose, as a little bit of an advertisement for the expansion. You can immediately see what the pieces do. Thanks for watching. Remember, older games like Big City certainly don't stop being good because newer games come out. Take care.